Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. We have completed the design of the desktop and the mobile version of our one page website. So here is our mobile version. We have completed all the sections of our website. I will leave the link of the playlist in the description below so that you can watch all the videos in the series. So in this video, we are going to work with the menu button over here. And when we click on that, we need to display the navigation menu of our mobile version. In the desktop version, we had these navigation menus right here. But in our mobile version, we don't have these menus displayed. So let's create a new navigation menu for the mobile version. So let's go to index.html. And uh, here after the wrapper begins, let's create a new division with a class of mobile nav. And in that we'll create an unordered list with a class of menu items. And in that we'll have the list items and an anchor tag. And the first one is about. So we'll type hash about over here and uh, then about inside the anchor tag. We'll just copy this uh, three more times. And the next one is our projects. And then we have testimonials. And lastly, we have contact. Our navigation menu is displayed here on the top left right here. Now let's position this uh, correctly on our screen. Before that, let's uh, also change the title of our uh, web page. So I'll just type GT Web Design over here. Now we can see that the title has changed. Alright, so let's go to the style.css and uh, let's style this mobile navigation. So here we'll type mobile nav. So let's target the mobile nav division. And uh, we will set the display to flex and uh, set the height to 100 viewport height. Now let's set align items to the center and we'll set the position to fixed so that it will stay in the same position even if you scroll up or down. And we'll set the top position to zero and left to zero. All right, now let's set a background color of uh, the dark color that we had set. So we'll type var dark color. We'll also set the right position to zero so that uh, we'll have the full width. Now let's position it above all the elements. So we'll type Z index and I will set it to 200. All right, now let's target the menu items class inside mobile nav. And uh, we'll set the list style to none. And we'll also set a padding of zero. Now let's target the list items. So we'll type mobile nav, menu items, li. And we'll set a margin of 20 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right. And let's also target the anchor tags. And set the color to the light color. And also remove the underline. And let's also bring it to the center. So here we will type justify content to the center. And we'll also text align the text to the center. And that's it with the design. Now initially we don't want this to be displayed on the screen. So what we'll do is uh, here we will type opacity of zero pointer events to none so that no one can click on this uh, even if it is not being displayed and also set the top position to minus 100%. So we'll remove this top from here. All right, so now we cannot see the mobile navigation menu. Now we will add a class called active to this uh, mobile nav and uh, when the class active is added, the mobile nav should be displayed. So here we'll type mobile nav dot active and make sure that you don't have any space between these uh, two classes because we want the element to have both the mobile nav and the active classes uh, available on it for the following code to work. So here we can see we have this mobile nav division and we'll be adding and removing active class using JavaScript. And when the class is added, we will execute these lines of CSS. So we'll set the opacity to one, the pointer events to auto, 
and also the top to zero. So let's try it once by adding the active class over here. So we'll type active and we can see that the mobile nav is being displayed and when we remove the active class the mobile nav disappears and one more thing to remember is that you should hide the mobile nav in the desktop version so if I maximize this we can see that the mobile nav is being displayed over here so we need to hide it in the desktop version so let's go to style.css and um, here we have already hidden the menu icon so let's also hide the mobile nav Alright, that's it with the styling of the mobile navigation menu. Now let's go to our main.js file and uh, make this uh, menu button work so that when you click on this menu button, the class of active should be added to the mobile nav. And when we click on it again, the class should be removed. So let's go to main.js file and uh, let's go over here and we'll add a comment. And for this one, we'll just add a comment of desktop nav. Alright, so first of all, we'll target the menu icon and the mobile nav classes. So we'll type const mobile nav equals document dot query selector mobile nav and const menu icon equals document dot query selector dot menu icon. Alright, now when the visitor clicks on this menu icon, we want to display the mobile nav. And when the visitor clicks on it once again, we want to hide the navigation menu. So here we'll type menu icon dot add event listener. And we'll add an event listener for the click event. And uh, let's add an arrow function over here. So here we'll type mobile nav dot class list dot toggle and active class. So now when someone clicks on the menu icon, the class uh, will be added. And when the menu icon is clicked once more, the class will be removed. So let's test it out. And we can see that the menu icon is being displayed. And when we click on it again, it disappears. Now we also want to add a smooth transition between displaying the mobile nav and hiding it. So let's go to the style.css and uh, here we'll add a transition of 400 milliseconds. Now let's test it once more. And we can see that we have the transition. Now let's click on any of these uh, nav menus. So let's click on testimonials. We can see that we have scrolled down to the testimonials section, but uh, the nav menu has not disappeared. We have to click on this menu icon to hide it. So let's fix that in our main.js. So let's go over here and uh, we will add an event listener to all these list items. And whenever any one of them is clicked, we want to hide the nav menu. That is, we want to remove the active class. So let's go ahead and first of all, target all the list items. So we'll type const mobile menu items. And we'll set it equal to document dot query selector all because we want to select multiple items. And we'll type dot mobile nav dot menu items li. Now let's add an event listener to all the list items. So for that we'll use a for each loop. So we'll type mobile menu items dot for each and in that we'll have a callback function. So we'll just give a variable name of i to access the individual list items. And uh, here we'll type i dot add event listener for click and uh, let's create an arrow function. And we want to remove the active class. So we'll type mobile nav dot class list dot remove active. So what we're doing here is that we are going through each of the list items and then adding this uh, event listener for the click event. And uh, whenever someone clicks on the list items, we are executing this line of code that is uh, removing the active class from the mobile nav. All right, so now let's test it once more and see whether everything works all right. So let's click on the menu icon and the mobile nav is being displayed. So let's click on contact and the mobile nav disappears and uh, we are scrolled down to that section. So everything is working all right and uh, let's go back to the desktop version and see whether 
we have any problems in that. Let's also right click over here and click on inspect and see whether we have any JavaScript errors. So we don't have any. So that's it for this video. We have completed the desktop and the mobile version of our one page website. I will leave the link of the source code in the description below. And in the next video, I will show you how to host this website online so that the whole world can see your website. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and click on the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video notifications. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.